Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Being able to understand the subject of the formula and further substitute into the subject of the formula is the technique that you will always be uh, required to know as you prepare for your mathematics N1 uh, exam. So in this uh, particular lesson, I'm going to show you how you can um, what um, find the subject of the formula after finding the subject of the formula and use that subject of the formula to solve uh, whatever you're given. Now, let us look at this question. It says, example, if you're given that F, which I'm going to expand because it looks small, if F is equal to MV squared over QR, determine the value of V. So they want us to find V in this case when we are given that. So if I may expand that so that I can be able to show you clearly. So this is the formula F is equal to MV squared of a QR. Now they want me to find V in this case. Now for me to find V, I first have to, that is the first part. Let me just put this into my, cause this is the last part of the equation. But the first part, which is number one, I must make subject of formula. So that's the first part is the subject that I must make. In other ways, I must make V the subject first. So what am I given? I'm given F is equal to M V squared over Q R. Now the moment I'm given a fraction on my right hand side, what I always uh, encourage students to do is when you're given a fraction on one side, you also divide the second side by one so that you have got fraction versus fraction. When you've got fraction versus fraction, you can then do what we call cross multiply. How do you cross multiply? You do that. So the F multiplies the QR and the MV squared multiply the one, which you just said over one. Now the the thing is, remember you're looking for V as the subject, so you can start by saying one times one times MV squared, which does not change anything. So you'll still maintain, in this case, your MV squared, one times that, which is MV squared times one, which does not change anything, is equal to F times QR. So that is basically what is uh, what you're doing when you have done that the aim is to always uh, remember remain with a v squared so you divide by m you divide by m such that we have got v squared is is equal to f i mean it's f times qr which is f qr over m when you have done that how do you simplify that so it's v squared I can write it here, it's F Q R over M. To get rid of that square, um, you need to square root both sides and you need to square root both sides. You are allowed to say plus or minus in that particular stage. And then after that, the V will be alone. You have dropped the power, which is plus or minus square root of f q r over m now this is the way this is the number one stage of it now we are going to go to number two stage now in number two stage it is whereby now you substitute 
by sub amino substitute. By substituting, then you go back to these values. As you see, you are given these values, remember? Whereby you know what is F. So avoid putting these values into the beginning here in stage number one. Don't say in my F, you, you start now saying already in my F, I want to put the 180,5. It will actually confuse you. You don't do that. You are going to do it in the second stage when already you have got your V separated. So you will then say V in this case. I'll use that marker there intentionally. Now it's V is equal to, you can say plus or minus. You do that. So what is your F? Remember your F, you, you have got your value for F as 180,5 times, what is your Q? Your Q in this case is 16.18 times, what is your R? Which is 2,82. So you see that these numbers, if you had included them, included or used or read them, uh, substituted them in the beginning, it was going to be you writing all these long numbers and you might end up making some errors. And then after that, you can expand this. And then it says all over, what is my M, which is 14,2. So be careful that your, 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 your sign covers everything in that fraction. So now when you've done that, you will then simplify it. Definitely you need a calculator in that case. So you'll say square root of fraction, it's 180,2, which is the first part. We say times, which is 16,18, again, it is times, which is 2,82, and then below divided by 14,2. Then when you've done that, there is the answer. You need to leave your answer in three decimal places if they did not specify. Now the calculator will do your rounding off. It will do all the work for you. What you need to do is to know how to set it up. So you say shift, set up. You see number six there is fix. So you say six. Then it says fix 0 to 9 is the number of decimals here. Now you must leave your answer to three decimal places. You, you press 3. So you see that the final answer is 24.063. So you say V is equal to 24,063. Therefore, this becomes the final answer for V in this case in that part now as i said avoid substituting in number one but you must do substituting in number two then you will get your v in that case they never gave units so you also leave the units as it is also you might argue and say but you started with plus or minus you can put your plus or minus like that but even if you did not put your plus or minus sometimes they might not even penalize you because usually you might discover that the v is like velocity or v is a number that is always positive but well it is um always wise to put the plus or minus at this particular stage whenever you are putting a square root we always say you say plus or minus i hope this was a good strategy for you that you can utilize in your exam thank you I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you are studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have p 
PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website and trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.